This is a brief introduction to the family of amines. At this point, we have discussed the family of hydrocarbons, those that contain only carbon and hydrogen, and some families that contain oxygen, such as an alcohol. When we look at the family of amines, we need to remember always that nitrogen will carry a lone pair of two electrons and can always make three bonds. In this case, we see the molecule of ammonia making three single bonds with hydrogens. We can also have one double bond and one single bond or a triple bond with a lone pair. And when nitrogen is making four bonds, we will have to place a plus charge. When we discuss the family of amines, we can classify amines as organic derivatives of ammonia. In this case, we see that one hydrogen has been replaced by an alkyl group, such as methyl, ethyl, propyl. In the second case, a secondary amine, it will be the one that the nitrogen is bonded to two alkyl groups. A tertiary amine is that where the nitrogen is bonded to three different alkyl groups. This is to show different examples of the different kinds of amines. This is a primary amine because we have the nitrogen bonded to one carbon. It doesn't matter how long is this hydrocarbon chain in here, but it's a primary amine. We see only one nitrogen bonded to one carbon. We see here that this is a secondary amine because the nitrogen is bonded to two carbons. And we see this is a tertiary amine because the nitrogen is bonded to three carbons. And we have some examples. Two methyl groups indicating that this is now a secondary amine. And this is a tertiary amine because it's bonded to three different alkyl groups. Amines can be classified as being primary, secondary, or tertiary but they also can be classified as being aliphatic or aromatic. In an aliphatic amine, the carbon that is directly bonded to the nitrogen is an alkyl group. And the one that is aromatic, it will have at least one aromatic benzene ring bonded to the nitrogen. An amine in which the nitrogen atom is part of the ring is classified as heterocyclic Amine. In this case, that is a heterocyclic aliphatic amine. Besides the heterocyclic aliphatic amines, we also look at the heterocyclic aromatic amines. Heterocyclic means that you have the nitrogen as part of the ring. But in this case, when we see the aromatic ones, it means that the nitrogen is also part of the Aromatic system, that means that we still have six electrons delocalized, and these ones can be one ring or two rings. They will be very important for biological systems. For example, the pyrimidines and purines are part of the DNA molecules. Another kind of amines that are important are those that contain more than one functional group. In this case, we have the family of a carboxylic acid. It is called an alpha amino acid and those are the building blocks for the synthesis of proteins.